Judging by that creepy music, you know it's the last dungeon of the game. Hey everybody, Colorfarty's back for more Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. Praise be to God on this amazing day. So before we start, we want to jump over these fire bars a ton, because they give out free money. <laughs> I don't like that. This game rewards being a daredevil. Oh, wow, these are much easier to jump over than they are in the original Paper Mario, where they get really fast. And of course, I, I say that now. Oh, bobber. There also might be a hidden block in this room. Bobbery, oh, you're not jumping, and you're a bob -omb. You're an explosive, and you're getting touched by fire repeatedly, but not blowing up. Okay, that works. Science! doesn't give you nearly as many coins as I would have hoped. And yes, you can see that is a green version of the Ember enemy over there. That enemy is specifically why I equipped the Ice Power Badge. Actually, I really want to equip All or Nothing, and I don't think there are many spiked enemies. So I'll unequip Spike Shield, I'll also unequip First Attack. And I'll equip all or nothing. Because I can usually get the action commands down pat. Darn, darn it. Wow, it brings you really far back if you get burned. Well, anyways, with ice power, I deal extra damage. With the all or nothing badge, I also deal extra damage. And I just killed him outright. I didn't even get the title on him. That's what I was going for. Alright. There we go. It's a boost sheet. Makes you invisible, so attacks against you sometimes miss. Okay, that's going to be a bit tougher to dodge. So I'm going to stand at the very outermost edge, because that's where the fire is moving at its fastest. Actually, as the fire moves faster, I'd say it's almost easier to dodge. Oh, that's not good. How are you supposed to dodge that? Doggone it. Doggone it! Stop burning me. Yay! I knew it would do something eventually. This is where we're going to need Vivian's help. Oh. Cool, that works. Thank you, Vivian. We'll see Phantom Embers again, so it's no worry that we didn't get to tattle on them. I believe this is another spike room? No, it's not. I remember this room. Yep. Those are some weird colored bones. Very suspicious. But I feel like I've seen something like them before. I guess we're not going to get much farther without checking them out, are we? <laughs> None shall pass by. Let those who would disturb her sleep fall into the depths of endless darkness. May the intruder never find the key to this door. <laughs> That's my best undead skeleton voice. Hope you guys liked it. So yeah, the weird colored skeleton has the key. Get over here. Here we go. Can't flee this fight. Alright, well, if we can't flee the fight, we at least want a title on this guy. One of the few opportunities in the game you get to do so. 
That's a Dark Bones. It's the baddest of the Bones gain. Max HP is 20, attack is 5, and defense is 2. When its HP goes down to 0, it collapses into a pile, but it'll eventually rise again. Fire and explosions will put a permanent end to it getting back up, though. Its HP is high, so it's hard to take it down. Like any other Bones, it sometimes builds friends if it feels outnumbered. It's a pretty tough enemy. You better take it and its buddies out all at once. Well, let's see if we've got an item that can help us do that. Uh... Yeah, I'll use Ruin Powder. Well, that worked on the first two guys. <laughs> they look funny. So yeah, that one beat up his friend, which is good. Okay, whatever items do I have that might be offensive? Nothing. Okay. Um, let's try... Heart Attack. <laughs> well, that's lovely. Alright, let's swap to Bobbery. And let's begin taking out these Dry Bones. I could use Bobombas, but that, I think, would be a bit of a waste of FP. Once we can clear that guy out of the way, we can use Piercing Blow to finish off the battle. That's right, I deal more damage now because I have all or nothing. Woohoo! 20 free star points. That was a mini boss, granted. We get the palace key, a key for a door in the Palace of Shadow. What I really like is there are no star pieces in here, no hidden panels you have to worry about. Palace key will open the door. The door to oblivion. Ooh, what's in here? <gasps> Ultra Shroom! Heck yeah. That'll help. Oh, that's right, I might want to re-equip first attack. Actually, nah, these guys are easy enough. I will unequip multi bounce for the purpose of this. Just so I can equip first attack to get rid of these bombshell bills before they become a pain. Do I see Luigi in the audience? No, they're just all daisies. That's okay. Now I will use Bombast. Bombast is really useful against enemies with lots of enemies with high defense. this guy to death, right, Vivian? Yeah, I knew you could. Alright, and then Piercing Blow to finish this guy off. The Bombast might have been not a great idea against those enemies. That was a lot of FP to use for actually not a whole lot of damage. Oh, I know, I'll use Shell Slam in the future. Yes, Shell Slam is a much better idea. No, not Flurry. It's never Flurry. Ooh, yeah! You know how I said I wanted to tattle on these guys? Well, now I can. Phantom Embers. That's a phantom ember! It's an angry spirit born of hatred and confusion. So, um, I'm not too cool with this fiend. Black. Max HP is 10, attack is 5, and defense is 0. If it attacks you with spirit flames, you'll catch on fire. Let's send this ghoul back to the grave, okay? P please? 
He can't even damage me if I defend against him. That's the power of I <laughs> damage, dodge, defend plus, and ice power. I'll actually get out Koops for this. Because he's one of the only characters who can actually deal decent damage. Well, I guess Bobbery could as well, but Koops hasn't gotten enough action. Plus, Koops is going to come in handy against the Bombshell Bill Blasters, because Shell Slam will just deal tons of damage against the guys. And I realized All or Nothing actually only counts for Mario, and not for the x Knights. I got a Tasty Tonic. That's a terrible item. I'm not even sure if there's anything in this dungeon that can poison me, which is what the Tasty Tonic is good for curing. Oh well. Take that, you flame. Slam them. Yeah, that's a lot of damage. He shot two? You're only supposed to shoot one, mister. Doggone it, I can never line those up. Another spike room in here, I believe? Maybe not. That guy has Ruin Powder. I really don't want that guy to use Ruin Powder. Is that the first time we've seen the Bucket of Worms? I totally forgot about that. Making good money. And star points. Oh, I didn't want the ruined powder. Ah, who can, who needs the tasty tonic? Oh, <gasps> jam and jelly. Yes, please and thank you. Oh, darn it, I have cake mix. Why did I carry cake mix in here? That is a terrible idea. I will throw away stopwatch. Hey, it's the P up, D down, P badge. I was wondering when we'd get that. And that's just one coin. Okay, that's cool. Honestly, I could probably use an item on Mario right now. Oh, uh, well. I really don't want that Ember to live. Alright, what can I use on Mario? I'm low on FP and a little bit low on HP, and I have two Choco Cakes, so let's use that. Oh, 
Oh, golf ball sized hail no. Oh, please do that attack more often. I haven't shown off Supernova yet. That I bet I will show off a lot in the Pit of 100 Trials. It depends on the badge setup I go for. It takes all but one of your star powered meters. So you'll be left. It takes, I think, seven full star circles to perform. But it deals. It can deal like 20 damage to all enemies. Regardless of their defense. It's super good. Hey, you. Bobbery's appeal. I'm so glad they're only doing that attack and not like the burn all, like you and your partner attack. Oh, that's right, it's this room. I think this is kind of like the Bowser Castle room. Yeah, so there was a room in Bowser's Castle in the uh, original game where it was an endless corridor that you had to do in a certain order. In order to get through this, basically go for the door that has the torch, the lit torch, in front of it. So yeah, no more lit torch there. But if we go up, the torch is lit. So this dungeon actually has a lot of legit puzzles that you've got to figure out. It's pretty cool. How can a pal how can a like a palace look so beautiful and so terrifying at the same time? All right, for real. This has gone on long enough. I guess they don't want you to be able to just cheese your way through it. They want you to actually figure it out. Because holy cow, that is... Those are some long corridors. Ah, yes! Here we go! I was wondering when we would get here. This is probably the halfway point of the dungeon once you reach this. Well, now it seems we get past one dodgy room only to find another. This region is rather like an underground city, hmm? What is this place? Indeed. Eesh! These are nasty enemies. Very nasty enemies. These are chain chops. You remember the red chops from Blitzville? Yeah, they're like those, only much, much harder. This is where Piercing Bow is pretty much required to get past these guys. It's one of the only things that can actually damage them a lot. You're about to see why. This and Yoshi's go gulp. That's a chain chomp! I'd hate to get chomped by those teeth. They look nasty. Max HP is 7, attack is 6, and defense is 5. Its body is hard, so most attacks won't do much. Plus, you can't damage it with fire and ice attacks. You can freeze it, though. Luckily, it has low HP, so you can take it down with a special move or an item. Chomp, chain ch chomp chomps? <laughs> chomp chomps are, like, so super pumped all the time. Don't they ever get tired? They're chain chomps. Ouch. Luckily, if you've got uh, a badge that boosts your attack power by one and piercing blow, you can use one piercing blow to instantly kill the chain chomps. And that should give us a level up. Wunderbar. We're upgrading HP now. We finally have 40 HP and 40 FP. Took us long enough. Oh, yuck! 
I think I'm gonna use Art Attack against these guys. Duplis, thank you for the Red Crystal Star. This is coming incredibly in handy. It's hard to gauge how, where those guys are, though, relative to the Crystal Star. Because they're so bouncy. Goodbye, Chain Chomps. They still give me a ton of star points. I guess free a piece. That's pretty good. All right. Oh, man. We've got 430 coins. Can you imagine if I had money money equipped? That would be insane. So that's a sprawling courtyard. That's pretty cool. This is where things get really interesting. We're introduced to these enemies, which are... In these guys are incredibly weird. These are dark wizards. Not wizards. Wizards. <laughs> Their mouths are very, um, interesting. That's a dark wizard. It's a part machine, part organic, centuries-old thing. Max HP is 10, attack is 5, and defense is 2. It uses magic to attack and can al to alter your condition, so stay on guard. If there's only one left, it'll multiply itself to confuse you. I know they look totally goofy, but they're actually pretty tough enemies. Yeah, that's not nice. Well, I'm gonna have Mario appeal, because I want to build up my star power to gauge. With quick change, we can swap to Vivian, who can fiery jinx the crud out of these guys. Goodbye. <laughs> I love the way they move their mouths when they take damage. Like, rah, rah. I just realized these guys are basically like the guardians from Breath of the Wild before Breath of the Wild. Yeah, ouch! That came out of nowhere. Ouch. Appeal, Vivian. <laughs> Yay! Ouch. Do it again, Vivian. I mean, might as well. I'm gonna end with Mario anyways. Cool, back up to full star power. Don't need that anymore. I will re-equip... What did I unequip to put on first attack? Multi-bounce, maybe? Yeah, it was multi-bounce. Phantom Ember to pull one over the eyes of Colorful Artie.
So there's a save block before this room. There's a reason for that. Oh yeah! Remember Hooktail? <laughs> no one's disturbed me here in eons! Who dares to file the sacred path? Hey! Isn't that Hooktail? We totally beat it before! What's it doing back? What? You destroyed my precious younger sister! I wonder why she had a brain recently. Queen and fear of mortals for I am doomed to. I will avenge my sister by taking your lives and then gnawing on your bones. Yep. Gloomtail. From the story. <laughs> my first fresh read in ages. Allow me to take my time and toy with you one. Gloomtail is much tougher than Hooktail, and doesn't get weak to the sound of crickets. So Piercing Blow and Power Smash are going to do the same uh, amount of damage. Better tattle on him. That's Gloomtail! I think he's Hooktail's brother. I see the family resemblance. Max HP is 80, attack is 8, and defense is 2. He'll bite or stomp you, and he may also breathe poison on you. Great. Oh yeah, I forgot this guy was poisonous. When his HP gets low, he may throw in some other attacks as well. Wouldn't surprise me. Especially watch out for his Mega Breath move, because that word, <laughs> the word is, it's gnarly. He also stores power for some attacks, so use Vivian to avoid those. <laughs> forgot about how powerful this guy was. Okay, you know what I'm going to do? I am going to swap to Vivian on Mario's turn with Quick Change. And now I'm actually going to use Power Lift. I haven't used this since I trounced Rockhawk, but I think the Stathos will very much come in handy. That was not as good as I expected. There were way too many poisonous mushrooms there. Well, Shade Fist should be quite effective now. And hopefully that'll stop Gloomtail from absolutely destroying us. Yeah, that's much less damage now. So now Power Smash is going to do a whole lot more damage. And we can use Power Smash to quickly get our Star Meter back up because of all the stylish commands we can do. Vivian, you're just super useful for battles in general. Really try to defend against that, because if you get poisoned, that just opens a whole other can of worms. Alright, I think I need to use an item. Let's... Actually, I'm going to use the Couple's Cake. Uh... I'm... Well, let me see. Fruit parfait, I mean... Pfft. Shroom cake, sure. We'll use shroom cake. Even though I should have probably used... Uh, taking advantage of my... <laughs> power lift abilities for a bit longer. Mario's HP was running pretty dangerously. He's almost getting to single digits. <laughs> Nice ground pound. Ooh, man. Yeah, this guy is like one of the first, one of the only really, really tough bosses in the game. All right, now I'm gonna use the couple's cake on Mario. I think this should work on both of us, shouldn't it? HP will briefly recover. Is that no better than a slow shroom? That is no better than a slow shroom. Alright, time for Sweet Feast, then. This guy's taking out so much of my HP. I 
I can't believe I didn't hit that poison mushroom. Woohoo! Yeah! Now that. Oh, wait. Oh, almost wasted the jam and jelly there. That would have been bad. Really, really bad, as Michael Jackson would say. Hey! B I N G O! That's my first bingo in, like, what, 30 episodes? Whoa! You are not the least train to appear to me! I would never be able to show my face again if I was a best if I were you. Oops. So I will show you the true extent of my power! Plus eight! You read that right. Oh no! The audience, man! The audience is asleep! I can't get my star power back! Well, that's not good. So yeah, don't mess around with this attack. Vivian, if you don't fail me... Okay. Uh, no, I, I didn't, because I was underground. You don't mess around with Mega Breath. Not even a little bit. Alright, it's okay if you don't actually punch him, Vivian. If you miss once, that's fine. You veiled me, so... Boosting your power again, eh? Actually, I bet I could have finished him off that turn. Okay, Cobbles Cake is no better than a slow shroom. Ouch. Goodbye, Gloomtail. Oh wait, no, that doesn't get me. Nine. Who am I kidding? I could not have finished him off last turn. Thank you for your star points, Gloomtail. That was greatly appreciated. Yep. You remembered how Hooktail spat out Koopley? He is spitting out a chest. Which has a star key inside! A strange star-shaped stone. Can I tattle on him when he, now that he's dead? Probably not. Also, I'm not sure if this is the case, but I've heard that if you use Bobbery back here, that is the best kept secret in the game. No indication that you can bomb that. But we get an Ultra Shroom back here, which is pretty cool. And a Jam and Jelly! Well, hot diggity dang dog. Okay, yeah. Best kept secret in the entire game. Because also, once you leave here, you pretty much can't come back. At least, once you've solved a certain puzzle, you can never come back to this room. So you can miss that permanently. Man, that's a good secret, though. And that's all the time we have for this episode. Thank you so, so much for watching. I'm Colorful Artie. Tune in next time. We will hopefully finish the rest of the Palace of Shadow dungeon, or at least come pretty darn close. And then the episode after that, we should be able to beat the game. Hope to see you there. Have a great day, and God bless.